viewers you are welcome to younger life channel earlier on we brought to you sofia sofia is the hometown of the governor of uh, anambra state governor charles soludo and uh, after that we brought to you aguleri aguleri is the hometown of the uh, immediate past governor of anambra state governor willie rubiano then we moved further to agolo agolo is the hometown of the uh, the past governor of Anambra State, Governor Peter Obi. Yes, after showing you Agolo, we decided to move further to Alo. Alo is the hometown of uh, Dr. Chris Ngige, the former governor of Anambra State. And uh, today we are going to bring to you Alo to showcase to you what Alo is made of. Then, uh, why we are doing this series of uh, visiting is because of what happened on our first presentation concerning Isuofia. Isuofia being the hometown of uh, the present governor of Anambra State. You know, the reactions of people that uh, so many road construction is going on in uh, Isuofia. So, we decided to move further and uh, probe into other past governors of Anambra state well that is exactly what is happening now but uh, we are not going to just you know end it like that we are going to give you some details of our law you know the a local government that made up uh, the middle south local government which our law is among and uh, the boundary towns and uh, the nice places in our law viewers we have commenced our movement to our law this is zix avenue Oka, but we are not going to give you the real time movement from this zix avenue it's just to show you the direction of where we are going so we are going to show you this zix avenue probably till the roundabout then, then we are going to cut it off then show you part of the uh, agolo then from Agolo we divert into the road that leads to Allah. That is how we are going to move. Yes, um, we are going to show you all the places that you need to know, including uh, Dr. Chris Ngiges, you know, the, his house in Allah. You know, all the road projects that he did in Allah, including the ongoing ones. No, there are some few ones that are still ongoing but not road construction. I'm talking about the scale acquisition center that uh, is about to be rounded up in uh, Allah. That one is being done by Dr. Chris Ngige or probably being attracted by Dr. Chris Ngige being the then Minister of uh, Labor. Yes, um, right now we are at uh, Amobia. Very shortly we'll be at that roundabout. Then we move to that direction of uh, Agolo. You know, that Agolo direction is a familiar direction, so we can't keep uh, showing you that place all the time. So this time around we are going to cut it off and then, you know, start our real. The coverage from that um, Wago side because that road towards uh, Obeledu Neni is the road that leads to Allah. Then, like I said, we are going to give you some few, you know, um, details about Allah, some few things you need to know about Allah town. And, uh, you know, without wasting time, let's commence. Alo is one of the seven communities comprising the Demili South local government of Anambra State in the southeastern geopolitical zone of Nigeria. Yes, this is Amobi roundabout. You can see the direction we are going now. We are taking left. We are, we are going to maneuver the roundabout and uh, our usual way that is a straight 
but it's just like I said, we are going to cut it off, you know, to um, reduce the time. Then the headquarters of Idembili South Local Government is in Ojoto, as a, of which Alo is one of the towns in the Idembili South Local Government. Then the towns that make up the local government are Awuhu, Alo, Oketiti, Ojoto, Nokwa, Oba and uh, Nobi. These are the towns that make up uh, the Middle South local government. Yes, uh, it is uh, Aloy surrounded by seven neighboring towns, namely Oruku, Nobi, Abatete, Idani, Uke, Adaziani, and Nobwa. Aloy has several rivers, which is most cases are, you know, um, derived from the major idols of the village touched by the river Milie Zibu, Mili Wangene, Mili Ohosha, Mili Idowulu, Mili Iyowulu and the Mili Opiacha. These are the rivers that uh, you know Agolo have in their town. So like I said their names we are derived from the idols you know in the town. Then we say that uh, Alo has uh, several functional road systems that primes it from the surrounding communities, adequate water reticulations, and street lights that grace the town at night. Well, um, you have seen that uh, we are now just on top of uh, Agudu Lake. We just cut off. You know all those long uh, journey we just cut them off just to show you the direction like i said so from somewhere here we are going to show you wago from wago the real proper view continues <clears throat> then um just like i said i've mentioned the rivers in agolo and how agolo has street lights and uh, you know um, the water that uh, reticulates you know, um, around the town. Then the main market day in Alo is in Wok. Wok is their major market day. And on that day, traders from the villages and from neighboring towns converge at the market square in Wok Alo to trade. So, um, uh, like I said, the major market is in Wok. And um, this road now is the road that passed in front of a Golden Tulip Hotel. It is a three-star hotel in Agolo, Alhambra State. So uh, we are still moving down to Alo. The traditional government of Alo consists of the Igwe, as the king, followed by Ndichi. As the lords, the other, then the dukes, and other titled individuals and groups. In October 2020, there was a tussle for the throne. Igwe Mark Antonio Konkwa was temporarily dethroned by the governor of Anambra State, Willy Obiano, for a political misconduct. You know, this led to the uprising of a new king named Igwe Chukwu Emesele. This was later resolved by the government of Anambra State. This is Younger Life Channel and if you have not subscribed to this channel, please click on the subscription button, notification bell, like this video and don't forget to drop your comment. Please share this video so that others can still watch with you. Thank you as you do. Yes, uh, some of us are very familiar with this place because we have visited here of recent times. Straight now you are going to Ekulobi, a flyover. So, but um, we are going to turn right. Right is going to Alo. 
that is the right if you turn right from that one good junction this is one good junction so that is it we are turning right now straight now you are going to a pullover flyover we are turning right to Alo, straight to Alo. Then um, let's continue our, you know, um, enlightenment and some few things that we need to know about Alo. We say that uh, Alo town has two divisions. We have Ezi and Ifite. As usual, Corresponding to the names of the two sons of the original ancestors, Abu Dubu. Each division consists of three villages as follows. The AZ, you know, earlier I said we have AZ and uh, Ifite. As there is the usual, you know, division in uh, some part of Ibo land, AZ and Ifite. So under AZ we have Umuoshi, Etiti, and uh, Ebenesi. Sorry, Ebenesi Okebunoye. Ebenesi Okebunoye. That's the AZ. Let me repeat. Under AZ we have Umuoshi, Etiti, and Ebenesi Okebunoye. Under Ifite we have Umuezani, Umuoku, and uh, Ide. So that is how the places we have been divided, the villages. So let's keep going. Then uh, Alo was known with a slogan, Alo London. The slogan of Alo is Alo London. Even before major civilization came into the town, and ever since, it lives up to the name. That's the name Alo London. But due to crisis which has divided the community, leading to lack of electricity supply and other basic amenities. This name, Alo London, was changed, you know, to uh, another statue called Alo Brundi, signaling under development. But actually, Alo is a beautiful town. You know, you don't need to be told. Well, um, let's keep
Yes, this place is called the uh, Okacha Junction. By the left side is in Neni. In fact, this area is in Neni. By the right, you are going to Enugu Nimo, the Bagana Aziz. So it's called Okacha, Okacha Junction. Yes, uh, this is uh, Arupo. You know, straight now you are going to Newe, but we will get to Alo before going to Nowa, Nobi, and uh, Newe. So we are going to Alo, but this is uh, Arupo. Honestly, if you ask me, you see this road? All these major link road government supposed to dualize them. You can see this one just have a kind of a palliative measures on it. I know that this road is very very bad, but probably of recent they came and they used that right to at least cover it up, which is not a bad idea. But whenever this road, whenever government wants to do this road they can do well to dualize this road even if they cannot dualize it they can expand it because this is the major link road that connects Newe even Ekulobia uh, or going to Oka and the rest well um, ours is to make observations and uh, say it but it's left for the government to handle it.
yes uh, we are going to give you some notable people from uh, our law there are some important people from our law probably you just to mention about three or four of them and uh, we leave the rest there is no way we can start mentioning everybody that are very very important in our law so we pick the few ones and uh, tell you guys Yes, uh, right now you know that uh, we are in uh, Nokwa. Nokwa is a boundary town to Allah. So we are going to divert through here, right? That is how we are going to go. We have not entered through that uh, junction. That place is called Santa Nokwa. Santa Nokwa. That is the name they call it. So we are using this road to enter inside that law then um, this is not the only road there are other ones but it depends from the direction that we are coming from so we decided to use this one into our law Yes, uh, this road is still uh, Nopa, but it's done by Chris again. You know, from that uh, major road, 
know, it connects into a lot through Nova. That is the direction. But very shortly, we are going to enter inside a lot proper. Then we start, uh, you know, giving you some important places, including Dr. Chris Ngige's compound, so that you see everything that you need to see concerning Allah. Gentlemen and ladies, we've just entered our law, a law town. So um, this is our law. Now we are moving inside our law. We are going to bring to you important places. But like I said earlier, uh, that uh, there are notable peoples in our law. We talk about Chief P N O K K Ojud. As uh, the Nigerian First Republic politician and was Minister of Agriculture and the uh, businessman. Well, um, I don't know his statue for now, so what I leave it like that. Senator Chris Ngige, you know, Nigeria's immediate past Minister of Labor and Employment and the former Governor of uh, Anambra State. Then another important person is Engineer Emekeze. This man also did some road in Alo. Okay, just some few road in Alo. Then Chinedu Akabweze. Yes, these are the four people that uh, we have brought to you that are very, very notable people in Alo. So let's keep going.
like I said, this is the uh, entrance of uh, Governor Chris in the guest compound. You can see this is his house, this is the entrance gate, security post. This is his compound, this compound by the left. That's the Ngige's place in our law. Let's um, have a, another look at it. So this is the compound by the right. This is Ngige's house. Yes, I have shown you Ngige's house. So we are leaving this place to go to so many other places that are very important in our law, including the scale acquisition center that is still under construction by uh, Ngige. You know, he attracted that project to our law, being the Minister of uh, Labor and Employment. The scale acquisition training center. So we'll still go there uh, and see what is going on there. Thank you. This is uh, the area that uh, they are doing rehabilitation on that uh, small bridge. You know, the bridge has a fair portion there, so they are trying to fix it. So, but we decided to go close and see what is happening there exactly.
Yes, uh, this is the place, the small bridge. You know, when you cross this bridge, now you go straight to that uh, the road that connects Nobi and um, um, uh, Mbo. Uh, so you pass through Idani. So this is the road that link a lot to that uh, road. So it's under rehabilitation. Actually, I don't know who is doing it, but I doubt if it's a state government. Usually, if it's state government, you see the signboard um, um, solution is here. But it can still be solution is here. We are not sure.
Well, viewers, uh, I don't need to tell you if there are so many roads that are constructed or there are few ones. Uh, I think uh, you are seeing everything that you need to see by yourself. And uh, if you have not subscribed to this channel, click on the subscription button, notification bell. Let's hear your view about this video. And don't forget to like this video and share it. Thank you.
yes uh, viewers uh, this is the scale acquisition center the place that is still under construction you can see it this is the entrance gate federal ministry of labor and employment scale upgrading and vocational training center alone so using giga that attracted this project and uh, is still under construction but we are going to enter inside to have a view of it Yes, viewers, uh, very shortly we are going to leave our law and uh, enter Nova. That is uh, if you have not entered the Nova. But this is the road that leads to Nobi Junction. By the right there, you are moving down to Idani, Axis towards uh, uh, Mpo. So, but we are taking left to Nobi Junction from Nobi Junction we are having our movement our reverse movement towards the left
Yes, this is in Nobi and we have entered uh, the road that leads to uh, Nova, uh, Adazi towards uh, Neni Obeledu and Agro. That is the road.
Well, uh, we are at uh, Okacha Junction. This is um, Okacha Junction, Neni. And uh, the statue you are looking at is the Power Mike statue. You can see Power Mike is a notable person in Allah. So they decided to immortalize him by this statue. This statue has been here for a very, very long time. This is Power Mike, the statue. Well, if you see this statue in this video, let me know people that actually followed up. Talk something about Power Mike. Or if you don't know what to say, just mention Power Mike in your comments. Thank you.
Yes, viewers, uh, this is uh, go Angolo. That's the junction. By the right, you are going to Colombia. By the left, you are going to Amobia. So we are using left towards Amobia. Thank you.